What's going on everybody? This is Coach Jacob Cabazzuto from Cab Training and in this video I'm going to show you guys five plyos that I've been doing with youth athletes to help them improve their speed and agility. These plyos aka jumps, landings, are very very important in helping young athletes develop and build on their strength and explosiveness as they grow. So let's go into drill number one. Drill number one is what I like to call an altitude drop. These are basically depth drops, but this time we're jumping off of a box and sticking the landing. These are really, really good because in this situation, we're absorbing force. And in my opinion, the more force that we can absorb, the more force we can produce. So when we're doing these altitude drops, we're jumping high off the box and we're bending the knees and the hips on our landing. I tell the kids that it's almost like jumping into quicksand, right? Our feet get immediately stuck into the ground. That's exactly what we want to do is we want to stick into the ground, absorb the ground and land solid. Drill number two is called altitude to hurdle jump. So now we're doing that altitude drop like drill number one. And now right when our feet hit the ground from that altitude drop, we jump over a small hurdle. You can find hurdles like these on Amazon. These are 18 inch tall hurdles, if I'm not mistaken. Again, with kids 10 and under, the 18 inch hurdles will work just fine. If your kid is 11 and up, I'd recommend around two feet tall hurdles. Again, we're just working on how quick our foot can react off the ground now. So now, first drill was all about absorbing force. This drill is absorbing force, but then quickly reacting and exerting that force back into the ground to jump over the hurdle. Drill number three is called the altitude to broad jump. This is again, just in our progression of drills that we're doing in this video, we're doing that altitude drop, absorbing the ground, and this time exerting our force forward rather than upward. This is great for our acceleration. This is good teaching kids how to coordinate the direction of force when they're putting force into the ground, making different moves on the field. And again, this is acceleration based, horizontal force. Uh, this is great to pair with that hurdle jump from drill number two. With drill number four, we're still incorporating that altitude drop, but now we're dropping in a lunge position. This is very functional because as an athlete, we're not always going to be in a squared up position, right? We're gonna put one foot in front of the other often. So if we're changing direction and we have to make a 90 degree break, much like an in or an out route, right? We're gonna stick, that, uh, stick one foot in front of the other and that knee is gonna have to absorb that force. This is great training young kids how to, it's training kids to build durability in those knees, um, absorb force into their knees, um, which will help create better bone density um, and overall more durable joints, limbs, tendons, and ligaments. As always, make sure you land with one leg out in front one time and then alternate legs each time you do this drill. Before we jump into drill number five, see what I did there? Um, we're gonna talk about my online training platform. My online training platform is geared towards football players who are trying to improve their speed, agility, and skills. So if you're looking for full programs, full workouts, 250 different drills and exercises to improve your speed and agility, my online platform is the place to be. Check out the link down below in the description and I'll see you guys on the platform. Drill number five is a single leg hop with a stick. Now you don't have to use any fancy equipment with this. I use hurdles, sometimes I use cones. What we're doing is we're jumping over hurdles on one leg and then after the last hurdle or the last cone, we're gonna land on that leg and stick that landing. This is the ultimate balance and body control drill in this video for your athletes or for your son or daughter or just for you. When we're sticking that landing on one leg, we're proving to ourselves that we have the hip strength, the ankle strength, the knee strength to stick the landing on a foot. We're mostly on one foot at a time on the football field. And so single leg hops with a stick are gonna help not only the repeatable force of sprinting, changing direction, but we're also improving the brakes. So being able to absorb the force, just like we have done with the rest of the drills in this video. So if you utilize the five jumps in this video in this order, I really think that your kid or you can really greatly improve the, your speed and agility. So if you guys liked this video, hit the like button. If you guys want to watch more of my videos, hit the subscribe button and let's get better today.